Does metformin really help treat knee arthritis? If you or someone else you know struggles with knee pain, this question could change how you think about treatment options. Metformin is widely known as a diabetes medication, but recent studies have explored its potential benefits beyond blood sugar control. In this video, we'll explore what the latest research says about metformin's role in knee arthritis, why it matters, and what this could mean for millions of people living with osteoarthritis. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. I'm a sports medicine physician practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I work with many patients managing knee arthritis every single day. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, the possibility that metformin, a drug most commonly used for type 2 diabetes, might also help with knee arthritis symptoms. We'll break down the latest high-quality clinical trial results, discuss who might benefit, and examine how metformin fits into the bigger picture of arthritis management. Knee osteoarthritis is one of the most common joint problems around the world affecting millions of people. It happens when the cartilage or the cushioning tissue at the end of your bones inside the knee starts to break down over time. This then leads to pain, stiffness, swelling, and it makes it harder to move your knee normally. For many people, even simple activities like walking, climbing stairs, or standing for a long time can become really uncomfortable and painful. One of the biggest challenges with treating knee arthritis is that it's not just about wear and tear. Excess body weight plays a huge role because carrying around extra pounds puts more pressure on the knee joints, which then speeds up the cartilage damage. But there's more to it than just mechanical stress. Being overweight also causes chronic low-level inflammation throughout the body, and this disrupts how your body handles sugars and fats. These changes create a kind of internal environment that promotes inflammation inside the knee joint itself. And that inflammation worsens the pain and actually drives the arthritis to progress faster. Right now, most treatments for knee arthritis focus on treating symptoms. People often use pain relievers like anti-inflammatory medications. They do physical therapy to strengthen the muscles and improve movement. They get injections in the knee to reduce inflammation, or in advanced cases, they have surgery to replace the joint. The problem is these options usually only help temporarily, except for the joint replacement surgery, and they don't stop the arthritis from getting worse. And because of that, researchers have been looking for new ways to treat knee arthritis, especially by targeting the inflammation and by targeting metabolic issues connected to being overweight. That's where the idea of using metformin comes in. So what exactly is metformin and why might it help with knee arthritis? Most people know metformin as a medication used to treat type 2 diabetes. It's been around for over 60 years and is one of the most commonly prescribed drugs for managing blood sugar. What metformin does is it lowers the amount of glucose produced by the liver and helps the body use insulin more effectively. And this in turn controls blood sugar levels. But beyond its role in diabetes, metformin has some other interesting effects. It has anti-inflammatory properties, meaning it can reduce inflammation in the body. It can also cause modest weight loss and improves how the body processes fats and sugars. All of these are important because inflammation and metabolic problems are thought to contribute to the pain and progression of knee osteoarthritis. Because of these properties, researchers have wondered if metformin could help people with knee arthritis, especially in those who are overweight or obese. The idea is that by reducing inflammation and improving metabolism, metformin might ease knee pain and potentially slow down the damage inside the joint. This is what recent studies, including a large clinical trial, have started to explore more seriously. So let's talk about the clinical trial that recently investigated metformin's effect on knee arthritis. This was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial lasting six months. It included people with knee arthritis who were overweight or obese. Participants were given extended release metformin gradually increased to a dose of 2,000 milligrams per day. The main goal was to see if metformin could reduce knee pain measured on a scale from 0 to 100. Besides pain, the study also assessed stiffness, knee function, 
quality of life and overall response to treatment. Side effects and medication adherence were closely monitored throughout the study. After six months, those taking metformin reported a greater reduction in knee pain compared to the placebo group. The improvement was moderate, enough to be noticeable and meaningful for many patients. Along with less pain, participants also experienced reduced stiffness and better knee function. Interestingly, these benefits weren't seen at the three-month check-in, but became clear by the six-month mark. On the safety side, metformin was generally well tolerated. Some people had mild side effects like diarrhea or stomach discomfort, but there were no serious issues reported. Most participants were able to stick with the medication throughout the study. So what do these results actually mean? The moderate reduction in pain with metformin is encouraging, especially when you consider that common treatments like non anti-inflammatory medications often have similar or sometimes smaller effects. While metformin is not a cure for knee arthritis, it could be a helpful addition to the treatment toolbox, particularly for people who are overweight or obese. But one important point is that the benefits took several months to become more noticeable. This makes sense given metformin's mechanism in that it works by reducing inflammation and improving metabolism, which likely requires time to have a meaningful impact on joint pain and function. At the same time, it's important to keep in mind some limitations. The study was relatively small and conducted remotely, which means certain measurements like weight and arthritis features relied on self-reporting. Because of that, we need larger and longer term studies to confirm these findings and better understand who benefits the most. So what does this mean for people living with knee arthritis and the doctors treating them? Metformin could potentially be part of a treatment plan, especially for patients who are overweight or obese. It's not meant to replace standard therapies like physical therapy, exercise, or pain medications, but it might offer some extra relief for symptoms like pain and stiffness. Because metformin is already widely used for diabetes and generally well tolerated, it could be a relatively accessible option for some patients. However, it's important to remember that metformin isn't right for everyone and doctors need to carefully consider potential side effects and individual health factors before prescribing it for knee arthritis. Lastly, if you want to learn about all the non-surgical options for managing knee arthritis from injections and exercises to diet, supplements, and other procedures, be sure to watch my next video. I'll break down the most effective evidence-based treatments so you can make an informed decision and take control of your knee health.